You're making me nervous. Let's go. Always knocks the pillow over. Okay. Hi friends! Welcome back to my channel. If you don't already, hit that subscribe button down below and give this video a thumbs up. You know the drill. Okay, today we are gonna go grocery shopping. It was a highly requested grocery uh, haul video that y'all wanted so we are gonna do that today because I need some groceries I am going to check the kitchen and the fridge to see what I have so I don't buy anything that I don't need but everybody kind of wanted to see what I eat generally um, fair warning I do not eat meat I am a pescatarian which means that I eat fish I don't eat chicken steak beef all that stuff. I don't eat a whole lot of fake meats, but I do love a good Beyond Burger, and I know I am low on those, so I'll probably grab some of those. I don't love to eat a lot of fish, but I do incorporate salmon at least a couple times a week, and then I eat a lot of eggs, things like that. So first things first, we're gonna check the fridge. Okay. All right, so she's pretty empty. I don't need any eggs. My egg thing, which I love, I'll link this down below, is pretty full. Four yogurts, so I should probably get some. I usually have like one a day or at least every other day for some extra protein. I love these mush oats. Um, I only have two, so I will definitely be grabbing some of those. I have some drink poppies, and then normally what's in this little section that's completely like empty, fruit, vegetables, fish, I'm in a big baked potato phase, so I will be grabbing some potatoes. This is the peanut butter that I eat because it literally is just organic roasted peanuts and then salt. So there's no added oils and stuff. Does it taste as good as Jif? No, but it's not supposed to because this is a healthier version. So I do this. So the overall consensus of what I need is fruits, vegetables, fish. I do need some more Beyond Burgers potatoes and then we'll kind of see what else ends up in the cart right <laughs> a little outfit check for groceries abercrombie abercrombie these flip-flops are actually from charlotte roos i don't even know if charlotte roos is still around but i found a dupe on amazon and then this is from target to the store we're at publix how rude Washer fluid low. Sir, fill it yourself. I don't know what you want from me. Is that my wallet? Okay. Are we ready to tackle the grocery store? All right, let's go. So the first thing we go to is fruit. <gasps> wow, the watermelon looks extra juicy today. Oh my gosh. So, how much do we think this is gonna cost? Put your guesses down below. I'm guessing $9 of grapes right there. Does this look good? Two baked potatoes. This is my favorite pasta sauce, and it's buy one, get one free. I don't even need it, but we're gonna get it. Because this pasta sauce is expensive, so get it for cheap when you can. And now we're gonna get pasta. My favorite gluten-free pasta is, well, one of my favorites. Let me show you. This one right here. Okay, so I'm gonna get more yogurt. I have two mush left, but we're gonna buy them. Okay, so I've talked about this before. Price-wise, if you're gonna buy like numerous of these, just buy this. This is what I get. So they only sell like these flavors in the packages, which sucks, but these are like my favorite flavors. So I'm gonna grab a couple of these. So a big thing with me is like 
I really don't drink a lot of alcohol. I used to drink a lot. Like, now I only drink on occasion or like if I'm with people. It's just like a little guilty pleasure. So instead of alcohol, I drink these. Okay, and I think that's pretty much all I need from here. I do think I wanna get like ice cream. I do like to have some sort of sweet, I mean, I love these milk chocolate almonds when I need something sweet. So I need to have something in my house that's like unhealthy. So we're gonna go look for some ice cream. So it's all about balance. My favorite ice cream is Tillamook. I'm gonna show you. Right here, this is my favorite. So we're gonna grab one of these. Something I noticed at this Publix today was there wasn't a big, like, or good selection of vegetables. Like, normally I get asparagus, but there was no asparagus left. So we're gonna go to Trader Joe's because we need to find some veggies. Okay, wait, I have been dying to get another acai bowl because I had one last week and then now I'm like craving it. And I'm walking by and I see these. So I think I'm gonna get these. I have bananas and I have peanut butter at the house. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go get some like granola and then I'm gonna leave. Honestly, I'll just get granola at Trader Joe's because it's giving me another reason to go there. It's hot outside. Why did I wear jeans? What possessed me to wear jeans? So now we're gonna go to Trader Joe's because I need, now I need granola and veggies. Okay, so the whole parking lot situation at Trader Joe's just gave me massive anxiety. So I'm gonna sit in the car for a second. Um, there's a lot of people here right now. Like it's Tuesday at 12 o'clock. Why are there so many people here? So we're gonna go into Trader Joe's now, I'm feeling better. <laughs> and I don't really know what I need from Trader Joe's, but I'm hoping Joe is gonna tell me what I need. J J Joey Joe Joseph is gonna tell me what I want and what I need. Do I need a cart? Joey, do I need flowers? I'm not a big flower girl, but these look so unicorn. Yes. Don't know how to pronounce that. For reference. That's what I'm talking about. Look at how pretty these are. We're not gonna get flowers, but now we're gonna look at the vegetables. And they do have one thing here, well, I don't know if they have it right now, that I love. I think Joey is telling me that I need to get these. This is the best cake ever. Okay, I'm kind of regretting my decision to not get granola at Publix because these ones are all like very like interesting but I think I'm gonna do this one the amount of like cookies and treats in this aisle I just got through it and I didn't put anything in the cart so we're doing good okay so the last time I was here they had a really good salmon selection of like wild caught salmon now the salmon that I just got from Publix is not wild caught. They have farm raised. And I wonder if Trader Joe's farm raised is better than Publix farm raised. Someone please let me know if you know the answer. All I got was the Brussels sprouts and the granola. Clearly Joe didn't think I needed much. Do we think I can get all of this in my apartment in one shot? Let's see. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go. I got this. going to make my four ingredient salad. All it is, is these little cucumbers. You'll need a red onion, tomatoes, tomatoes, and mozzarella. I get these little um, mozzarella pearls so that way I don't have to cut any of the cheese. Cut up these, I put all four ingredients just like into a bowl, put it in the fridge. Whenever I want some, I scoop some out into a bowl and then I use olive oil or balsamic vinegar, salt and pepper, and you can add whatever you want. Some people add like basil, they add avocado, they add whatever. Um, that's just what I like, so I'll show you when it's all cut up. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna cut them up. I do wanna say, this was like my number one best selling item that I've ever had on my Amazon is this knife set. So I upgraded to this cuisine art, is that how you say it? Knife set, it literally is the best. We'll link this knife set down below. Okay, so I've got the onion, the tomato, and the cucumber all cut up. And then I'm just going to dump these mozzarella pearls in there. So they're just like these little, they're so cute. Taste test, you know? I'm going to use a little bit of taste test again. Like I said, I'll just put a top on this, put it in the fridge. And then when I want like a low carb healthy snack, scoop it out, put some stuff on it, and that's pretty much it. So that's pretty much it for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it gave you a little bit of a better sense of what I kind of eat every day or every week. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you don't already, hit that subscribe button down below. And I will see you guys next time.